So I'm gonna do a walk around video on my sawmill. Kind of talk about how I built it and some things I would have changed and some things I probably will change. The capacity is about 34 inches diameter log I could fit in between my guides. About 13 feet long log I can cut. It's an all manual mill, meaning I got to crank the head up and down and I got to push it through the log. So that's one of the biggest things I'm going to change. I want to make a electric up and down and a electric feed to push it through the log. I think the main frame is like a five, five inch tube, five or six inch tube, inch and a half wide or something. I think it's only an eighth inch wall. It seems pretty rigid. I got it on six leveling jacks. I put an axle on it in case I need to move it around better to take the tires off though you kind of as you're walking it your legs kind of hit that but so here's the uh the up and down mechanism i just got it on a hand crank and that turns that and i got it on some all thread with coupler nuts welded on the carriage there some thrust bearings down here and then that's all connected to the other side the same thing so i got the ratio pretty good it's not hard to crank but After a while, your arm gets a little sore. You got a 18 horse Briggs and Stratton. That seems to be plenty for the capacity I have. It cuts through, I haven't struggled through anything. And here's my blade tensioner so this whole this whole box is connected to these bearings in that shaft and then this slides as you tension this whole thing slides so let me open up this So this is my tension side. So that whole pulley goes that way to get tension on the blade. It's loose now. Here's another th big thing I want to change my my sliding blade guide. I just have it on this lever so you can push it and pull it. And I have this locking nut but it's not, it's not rigid enough. It's, it moves around too much. So I gotta figure a way to lock that in solid. To get the uh, adjustment on my, on my pulleys, to get, keep the blade from falling off, I just have, these pillow blocks have oval holes and I just put these nuts on there. You just play around with them to get those axles lined up. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I haven't uh, thrown a blade yet, so I'm doing something right. Got the belt tensioner over here. So this end's fixed. I got those pillow blocks bolted right to the main carriage. 
custom fuel tank and that black PVC is uh, just water for coolant. Got it running down here, little valve, and it runs down and drips on the blade. I had a measuring system, was working pretty good, but I had to cut it off because I got into a big log. I had this sticking out and I had a little nail so I can get easy measurements for cutting dimensional lumber, but I had to cut it off because I was maxed out and it hit this. So I couldn't couldn't go up high enough, so I gotta remake that where I can get my maximum capacity. Here's my log stops. I had little wheels on here to help roll the log over and that worked a lot, but I ended up crunching both of them. I gotta find a heavier duty wheel, metal wheel or something. But these are adjustable, pull the pin. That's frozen now, but I got those different holes in there. Go up and down. And I got my log, log stops here. So this slides back and forth. And then you got the crank here. Got two of those. And then how I got the blade going up and down on the carriage. I got this, I think this is two inch tube and maybe two and a half. Uh, so there's room to play in there. And I got these uh, adjustment bolts to keep the, keep the blade uh, level. I was thinking about making some fancy bearing mechanism so there's, you know, less resistance. But this actually isn't too bad. It's just got, you know, the points where the bolts are hitting. You can see where it's scratching. But I don't feel a lot of resistance there. I grease that every once in a while. That seems to be fine. Easy. Easy way of doing it. So for my blade guides, I have a piece of one inch tube, I think that is. Square tube. And then I have a bolt running all the way through with these adjustment bolts on all, all four sides. So that, that bolt going through the tube has room to play in it. So to get your, to get that lined up good with the blade, you uh, keep this main bolt loose and then you adjust all those and that works that, that bolt in all different directions. There's some real expensive uh, adjustment bearing setups you can buy, but uh, I decided to make my own. I couldn't justify the price. They were pretty pricey. But this works fine. I got a double bearing up here and one back here. That needs changed. That's pretty, it's pretty crusty. And then under here, I just got a hard piece of um, plastic, like a wear plastic and uh, Every now and then I'll need to change those. Those wear down, but that helps keep the blade keep the blade from twisting. And I can get down. I think that's three quarters. I can cut a, a one inch board off the bottom. Same thing on this side, except this side's fixed. That's the adjustable. It's been working good though. I got a few logs to cut for a friend. Probably make another video on, show you guys how it works. Thanks for watching.